Module 1, API 580, Examine Study Tips. In this module, you shall learn about our e-learning services and benefits. Know about API certifications in general and API 580 in particular. How to apply and what you should expect on exam day. Introduction. We shall provide you with all the knowledge and information you need to know in order to pass the API 580 exam. We shall explain the concepts and where necessary, shall elaborate by giving examples. We shall provide you with flashcards for quick reference. We shall highlight areas that are potential exam questions. We shall provide you with mock exam questions, that are specifically designed in line with the spirit of API exam questions. You may appreciate the facts that API wants to verify your understanding of the topics, and hence the exam questions are mostly rephrased and given in the context of a scenario. Our course editors are all qualified API inspectors and engineers who edit the course based on the latest revision and addendums, who have years of industry experience and many have passed the exam in the last three years. Our course content goes through several checkpoints to ensure that it is easy to understand, focused on the body of knowledge and is in line with ISO 29990. 2010 Learning Services for Non-Formal Education and Training, Basic Requirements for Service Providers, so you know what you are expected to learn at the end of each module. There are four definite leads to help you understand what type of questions to expect during examination. These are 1. API RP 580 Risk-Based Inspection, 3rd Edition, February 2016. 2. Experience of other candidates who attempted the exam. 3. Mock exam questions. 4. Exam score report, showing the areas where you are scored against. Regardless of which study plan you may wish to take or which training course you opt for, these leads shall help you to focus your efforts and do the pulse check to ensure that you are on the right track. You can start the self-study by getting the API RP 580. Obviously, you would save some money but instead may be prone to make some silly mistakes that can cost you the success in the exam that you would otherwise rightfully deserve. Miss the chance to review our latest question bank based on real API score sheets. Miss those key points presented by our team of course instructors in the form of flashcards. Plus missing the all important concepts that what we offer to make your life easier right from the beginning. Your approach and study plan is also very important. If you merely memorize the facts and figures without fully understanding the concepts, there is still a high chance of getting the answer wrong because API exam questions are often rephrased. In other words, API questions do not use statements from codes and recommended practices word by word, ad verbatim. API wants to verify your understanding of concepts and how you use the code to perform a risk-based inspection assessment. You can choose our training package that has the advantage of explaining core principles and concepts. Our exam questions are very much in line with actual API exam questions and aimed at sharing the concepts, how to apply these knowledge, how to avoid the loopholes, and how to handle the trick questions. Please bear in mind that API 580 is not intended for training purpose and therefore, understanding them or visualizing them in a context may be difficult for some candidates. We shall explain all these topics in sufficient detail so the course would benefit all candidates with any level of knowledge and expertise. Our training approach helps you solve any relevant questions within any context and scenario, since you would be capturing the concept, principle and the theory. Rather than memorizing some numbers or facts without understanding the underlying reason or how it is applied, we do not claim that our e-learning courses are the only option to pass the exam nor we claim that our courses would fully substitute studying API 580 recommended practice. However, we do claim being one of the best API training providers because we shall explain the A to Z of registering, preparing and attending the API 580 exam. 
Explain terms and definitions in an easy to understand format complete with pictures. Provide you with sufficient explanations, so no matter what is your level of knowledge in each topic, you shall have the complete information and knowledge. Explain API 580 in an easy to understand and comprehensive way, and also highlight the areas where potential questions may come. Provide you with two sets of mock exams in line with API exam questions. Support you through a chat line where you can ask any questions from our instructors or if you may need any query regarding a specific topic. How to apply. API examinations are divided into two main groups. Core Exams, API 510, 570, 653, and Non-Core Exams, API 571, 580, 936, TESS, 1169, SIFE, SIRE. All API examinations are held three times a year and each API certification has a two weeks exam window that you can should choose from at the time of registration. After registration and approval by API, your two weeks exam window is frozen and you can only select the location, date and time at a Prometric test center. Seats are limited at your preferred Prometric location, so select the date and time as soon as you can. Note. Prometric is subcontracted by API to hold the computer-based examinations. The deadline to get API authorization email is approximately two and a half months or ten weeks prior to the selected test window. To get the API approval in order to sit for a particular test, file the application form by registering with API ICP by using the link, create an account and then upload the supporting documents. Your qualification and certification, provide two references and pay the fee. API shall verify your claimed experience by contacting the two references you have provided by email. It is recommended to brief your references, so they know which inspection fields and for how long you have claimed the experience for. This would avoid any discrepancy that may result from your claimed experience against their verification. There are more than 3,000 Prometric testing centers worldwide to choose from. All Prometric test centers operate on the first-come first-serve basis. Therefore, API cannot promise that you will be able to obtain a seat at your preferred location. It is highly recommended that you schedule your exam immediately after receiving your exam authorization notice by email from API. If seats are not available, Try a different date within the same window, or choose another location. Please note that, during registration with API, you are required to select one of the available two weeks time window. Once the time window selected, you cannot change it, means you can only attempt the exam within the selected two weeks window. Unless you decide to reschedule and pay the fees which is as good as failing the exam. Remember, no show failing to book a seat, or even an ability to book a seat at your preferred test center, is as good as failing the exam itself. Although the deadline to get your application approved prior to your selected test window is around two and a half months, you might not be able to find a suitable available date or worse. You might not be able to get a seat at your favorite test center within the allocated two-week window if you receive your approval, API authorization email too late. So, it is recommended that you register and get API approval, API exam authorization notice email, at least three months prior to your scheduled exam, that is. Do not choose the next immediate test window but choose the one that is at least three to four months away. This is especially important for core API exams that need a full day slot. For other API exams such as API 580, there is normally a good chance of getting the convenient test location and date, at the next available test window. You can change the location and the date, within the allocated two weeks window, up to 30 days before the last day of test window free of charge and between 5 to 29 days for a fee of $70 subject to Availability Normally it is possible to change the time and location for API 580. 
API gives each candidate 12 consecutive months to pass an exam beginning from the first scheduled test window. This means you can attempt an exam for a maximum of four consecutive times. If you do not pass the exam within a year for any reason such as exam failure, fail to schedule the exam, no show up at the scheduled date, etc. You have to apply all over again and pay the full fees. One of our trainees received the API exam authorization notice for API 570, six months before the selected test window. But he attempted to book a place with Prometric only two months before the test window. As a result, his closest Prometric center, London, was already full, so, he had to fly to Amsterdam Prometric Test Center to attend the exam. Therefore, it is strongly recommend that you book your place as soon as you receive the API authorization notice. API 580 Certification, Recertification, Rescheduling and Cost API 580 Certification is valid for a 3-year term and the exam costs $365. After 3 years, you need to apply for recertification demonstrating that you still work as an API inspector for 20% of the time. Recertification cost $260. You may apply for recertification 90 days prior to the certificate expiration date, and up to 90, day after the expiry of your certificate. If an application is not submitted by the end of the 90, day grace period, your certificate will expire. A new application and fees must be submitted, and you will need to pass a full examination in order to be recertified. API inspectors are required to take an online, open book quiz every six years in order to recertify. Each quiz has 25 questions that address the changes in the relevant API codes, over the past six years. You have a total of four hours to complete the quiz and it may be paused or interrupted up to three times. If you fail the quiz once, you will be able to take it again. If you fail the quiz a second time, you will not be able to recertify and you shall need to submit a fresh application and take the full version of the exam in order to certify again. If you fail, you need to apply for rescheduling and pay $150 for re-examinations. After requesting for rescheduling and paying the fee, you shall receive the approval letter via email within a day or two. You shall then book your seat with the Prometric as soon as possible. Remember, you have one year from the date of your first exam to pass which entitles you to maximum four consecutive attempts. Exam Day Make sure you reach the Prometric Test Center at least half an hour before the scheduled time. If you reach the test center 15 minutes after the exam, they may refuse to admit you. Prior to letting you in to sit for the exam, they shall check your photographic government ID, such as valid passport or driving license, ask you to sign in, check you with a metal detector, ask you to turn up your sleeves and trousers, check your pockets, look at your reading glasses, to ensure it does not have any camera or recording device. Ask you a security question, date of birth, email address, and take your picture. You cannot carry anything with you except a bottle of water. No ornaments are allowed except a wedding ring. They shall supply you with a couple of green color A4 size papers and a pencil for taking notes plus a simple calculator. You are required to have a valid government issued photo identity card such as a passport or a driving license and keep it with yourself during the examination. If you don't produce a government photo ID card at the Prometric Test Center, you shall be refused entry and it is treated as a no show up which is as good as failing the exam. Also, make sure your government issued photo ID, such as driving license, passport, is valid. If your ID is expired, you shall be refused entry. During API 653 exam, one of our candidates had an expired driving license and was refused entry although he returned half an hour later with a valid passport but by that time it was too late. Prometric said. As a result, he had to pay the rescheduling fee, $300, and appear for the exam six months later.
It is recommended to check your photo ID to ensure it is valid and preferably carry two valid government-issued photo ID, as Plan B. It is simply not worth it to be refused for an ID issue after all the time, effort and money you have put in. Prior to the examination, you shall be given the key to a locker to keep your belongings. You are not allowed to use the locker until you have completed the exam. Immediately, after completion of the exam, you shall receive an email notifying you whether you have passed or failed. Your preliminary exam result may be a preliminary pass which is normally a pass, a marginal result, too close to call, may be a pass if you are lucky. And a preliminary fail which is normally a fail. You shall receive your confirmed score up to 8 weeks after the last day of 2 weeks examination window, sometime sooner. It takes another 6 to 8 weeks after receipt of confirmed score for the certification and the wallet card to arrive by post. The pass mark is 70% for all the API examinations. No negative marking is applied, therefore, answer all the questions. At the end, click the Review All button and peruse through the list to ensure that you have not skipped any question. You can challenge any question you may wish by writing on its comment sheet but please note that the clock keeps running so you shall be spending the time to fill in the comment sheet from your allocated examination time. After ID verification, security check and letting you into the examination room. You will first go through the tutorial which lasts for maximum 10 minutes or earlier if you press end session button and then the actual exam begins and the clock start ticking. You can see the remaining time at the right hand corner of the computer screen. Remember, if during the examination, you wish to leave the examination room for say, using the toilet, you need to take your ID with you. Report to the security outside the examination room and sign out. On return, you shall go through the same initial security check and sign in. During all this time, the clock is running. Sitting for an exam can be stressful, so, try to have enough sleep the night before, on the exam day. Just peruse the important parts of the reference documents or look at the figures and charts for a couple of hours maximum. Let your brain rest. You need to be alert and full of energy to endure the exam. Remember, your exam is not concluded until your time is up or when you press the end exam button which asks for confirmation to ensure that you have not pressed it accidentally. You shall also see the list of attempted and non-attempted questions at the end by pressing the review all button. This would ensure that you have not left any question unanswered. There is a frequently asked questions, FAQ, in the ProMetric website. There is a tutorial prior to exam that explains how the bottoms work. You can also find the tutorial within API ICP. The exam would automatically start after the 10 minutes allocated time for tutorial, or if you end it earlier. The icons are simple and user friendly. Remember that, you can flag off those questions you are not sure of so you can return to them during the remaining time. You can also right-click on selected answers, to eliminate them if you are confident that they are definitely the wrong answers. This will narrow down the possible right answers and therefore increases your chance of getting the right answer. You can either review all the questions once again or review the flagged off questions only, during any remaining time left. You can see the remaining time at the upper right hand corner of the screen. There are a few good tutorials in the API ICP, Individual Certification Program, website. Remember that the clock does not stop for any reason once you start the test. When you use the bathroom or when you wish to make a comment on a particular question or for any other reason whatsoever, so use the allocated time wisely. The allocated time seems to be sufficient to answer all the questions as well as reviewing them.